Doing a basic ignition tune-up on a Mazda RX-8. You're going to need a 13 16 spark plug socket, 3 8 extensions, 3 8 ratchet. Here we're using a torque wrench for the lug nut install on the rims, 19 millimeter socket. We have laser iridium NGK spark plugs and the NGK spark plug wires. We have two leadings, two trailings. Okay, there is a difference between the leading and trailing plugs. We see this all the time with rotaries having four of the same plugs, either four trailings or four leadings. But the leading plugs are longer than the trailing plugs and the trailing slot on the housing is not as big as the leading plug hole. The reason why the trailing plug is shorter than the leading is because the steel sleeve here covers most of the spark plug hole. So when the short plug comes in, it sits at the right measurement away from the steel sleeve to make the correct trailing burn. Unlike the leading being long, if you use four leading plugs, you're gonna smash the top of the spark plug against this steel sleeve because the opening is not there. With the NGK spark plug wires, you have black and you have blue. Black is trailing, blue is leading. And they are also marked with a one being the front rotor and a two being the rear rotor. The bottom is your leading plug, the top is your trailing plug. Now the easiest way to, I remembered them was lower and top. And they also are marked on the housings with a T and an L in the casting of the aluminum. Okay, off to the coil section. The coils are mounted in the car exactly like this. Now the coil order for the firing order is leading one, trailing one, leading two, trailing two. We're gonna jack up the car. We're gonna use the jack section of the pinch weld right underneath the front fender. You're gonna know when you find it because it's the section between the two notches on the pinch weld. Okay, always use a jack stand, safety first. If you're working with nice wheels like these, you don't want your socket to scratch up your rim. So the easiest trick that I do is I take a little bit of electrical tape, go around the lip of the socket, and that helps from metal on metal contact. And the reason for taking off the wheels, because you can see here that there's direct access to all four spark plugs and it's much safer than laying underneath the car. Okay, we're gonna take the two plugs, the two number one plugs, your blue one, which is your leading, your black one, which is your trailing. We're gonna install these two plugs first. This way, when we change out the plugs on the front rotor, you can automatically hook these up and then go on to the next two. Okay, as we install the wires, remember, leading one, trailing one, leading two, trailing two, from left to right. Now your blue, Leading one, this side, the fat boot side with the prong sticking out, that is your coil side. Symbol is that. Move on to the black one. Fat boot side, of course, with the prong sticking out for the trailing. Make sure they clip in or push all the way down. Now we go down to the two front plugs. As we remove both spark plugs from the front rotor, doing two at a time. Okay, now on both spark plugs, you have an L and you have a T. Your leading plug and your trailing plug. We'll start by putting in the trailing plug. Now with the plugs, we should always be able to get them in by hand, nice and easy, with no issues. Okay, after you get them snug by hand, I always tighten them down with a quarter turn. Okay, 
now that the spark plugs are installed, you can see the two plugs. You can also see the length difference between the blue and the black. The black goes on trailing, blue goes on leading. Now black is top, blue is bottom. You're gonna push both spark plug wires on until you hear and feel them click. Now you're gonna repeat the process with the rear rotor, the two rear plugs, blue, leading two, black, trailing two. Putting the lug nuts on by hand. You should never tighten your lug nuts with an impact. I start from the bottom and work to the top. This way you can let go of the rim and the two bottom lug nuts hold the rim in place. You should always do your lug nuts and a star pattern, always across from each other. Never go in a row or go next to each other when you're tightening them down. Okay, we're gonna lower the car down till the tire barely touches the ground because we're gonna need the tire touching the cement so we can hand torque the lug nuts. We're setting the torque wrench to 108 foot pounds it used to be 65 between 87 foot-pounds of torque, but Mazda recently released their lug nut torque specs to 108 foot-pounds. Always tighten your lug nuts in the star pattern as stated before. Here's a closer video. Go until your torque wrench clicks. Move across. Now finish dropping the car.